Step 5. Loading media for cutting. Let's start with the bag of cutting accessories we saw earlier. The tweezers and razor knife we'll use in step 7. For now, let's focus on the blade holder, the blade, and the pin. The pin is used for changing blades after they've become dull or chipped, and the magnet inside the blade holder keeps the pin and blade in place. Be careful when inserting the blade because it is very sharp. Insert the blade into the blade holder, and then loosen the cap until the desired amount of blade extension is achieved. Ideally, the amount of blade extension will be the thickness of your cut media. Load your piece of test vinyl into the machine and adjust the pinch roll wheels to the outside edge of the material while keeping them within the grit section of the roller. Sometimes it helps to look down on the machine from above to get the front and back aligned for precise loading and to avoid skew. This will give the best tracking. By pulling the media load lever forward, the wheels will lock in place. Step 6. GX24 Control Panel and Menu. After plugging the machine into a power source, press the power button in the lower right corner to turn the machine on. The LCD screen will immediately light up and ask you to select what sheet type it will be working with. Roll and Piece are the most common selections. Select Roll and press Enter to confirm. This will tell the GX24 to measure the cutting width, which is the distance between the pinch roll wheels. That distance will be listed on the LCD screen when complete. Now let's look at the buttons on the control panel. Test will cut a circle and square for setting cut pressure and offset. Origin will reset the starting point for cutting. Pause stops jobs during cutting. The arrow keys are used to navigate the menu and to feed media back and forth. The menu button accesses all functions on the LCD screen. The force button automatically opens the cut pressure menu. and enter confirms all commands. The pen force is used for micro pressure adjustments. To begin, press the menu key until you see unsetup. Arrow keys can be used to navigate the menus, and Enter will confirm all commands. The Condition submenu contains all the essential functions of the GX24 and is the most often used menu. The Force menu is also accessible from the Force button on the control panel, which we just saw. Speed is always listed in centimeters per second and goes from 1 to 50. Offset can be adjusted from 0 for plotter pens all the way up to 1.0 for very large blades. Lowering up speed can sometimes improve tracking during complex cuts. The default rotate is 0. Area can pre-feed up to 50 feet to help identify how the machine is tracking.
The GX24 comes equipped with a laser eye for detecting crop marks. It operates automatically, but can be set to manual for use. The GX24 comes with a USB and a serial port for communicating with the computer. The Others submenu contains settings that do not affect cut quality. Because all vector art is essentially polygons, the smoothing function helps to make better curves and arcs. It is set to on by default. Unit lets the user switch back and forth between metric and standard units of measurement. Use the arrow keys to see your options. And remember to hit enter to confirm any changes. Resetting the cutter to factory settings is a one-step operation. Self-test performs a self-cutting test, which we'll see in step 7. The GX24 has a 2 megabyte buffer for storing large cut jobs. It can be repeated by itself once the job is saved in memory. And up to four different user settings can be saved on the cutter for true customization. Step 7. Performing a test cut. You're ready to cut! Start by holding the test button to perform a test cut. The test cut is a square surrounded by a circle. This will show 90 degree angles as well as curves. It's to design to ensure proper blade offset, blade extension, and cut pressure have all been set correctly. Now let's go back to the self-test and the others submenu. This will perform a cutting of the CAM1 logo. This test is designed to ensure proper cut quality and operation. Should any cuts not come out satisfactorily in the future, perform this test to make sure the hardware is operating properly, because it could be a software issue. Now that you've had a chance to get to know your cutter, you're ready to start cutting. This concludes our support tutorial for today. Thank you for joining us and enjoy your new GX24.